Right, greetings everybody and welcome to another video. Umbra Rays here today, checking in on the new Super Trial here on JP. Still has seven days left, so not in a super big rush. As you can see, I haven't cleared it yet. And more recently, I did a preview video, just jumping into a match by myself, checking out what it looked like some details early on and said that we would come back a little bit later talking about clears and whatnot and that's why i'm here i'm here to talk about clears today uh videos that i have found so let's queue up these videos and then we will take a peek at what we have All right so let's take a peek here at what we have first off this trial, uh, you can see basically all the details over here uh, as we are basically just the Ashen Mont version of the clear for this. Now, you'll notice that there is three Ashen Monts in this trial as well as a Melnia, uh, which basically has just gone the earth slashing route. There's a little bit of shooting in there. Uh, things that I have since learned from researching this trial. Uh, we do, the birds are a problem and you kind of need to kill them off. Mob management is a little bit of a thing that you have to uh, worry about here because uh, it can't, it's not really that much of a problem, but the goblins do cause paralysis, uh, which can just flat out essentially take away a lot of your DPS if you're not prepared for it. And as we saw previously, the birds also have a status effect of don't act, which is also pretty nasty to deal with so if you're not stacking the resistances needed then it can get bad pretty quickly also some other details of note uh, it shouldn't be too terribly surprising that there are additional spawns that happen over the course of this fight both light and thunder veritas show up to provide support once dark veritas has lost uh, certain percentages of his hp and as you can see right here in this trial, uh, there is a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, one of the Ashen Monts hit with Paralysis. So that's taking up and eating some turns, decreasing deficient, uh, efficiency a little bit. And that might be a reason why you would want certain status effects uh, to protect uh, against this kind of situation. Just to make the clear potentially a little bit easier. Although more, more DPS essentially makes this better and faster. And light shooting is still the preferred way. I do believe that there, I, I haven't found a video of it yet, but Yuna plus, uh, three Yunas plus a Fina seem to be able to get it done. That is of course Yuna, Yuna from X-2, which again, not too terribly surprising. But this clear on sped up version is about nine minutes. So we can see here. Right there, we have a little bit of backup coming in, a little bit more backup. The, the longer this trial potentially goes, the more dangerous it is. Also, just turn off the audio there. There's Light Veritas showing up at a key HP point. Light Veritas is a little bit scarier of the potential ones just because she comes in fairly quick so she can get buffed, usually before you can kill this guy off. So ignoring Light Veritas, I mean, you could do it, but you are effectively taking more damage, so you would need to have a kind of comp that is working on some healing. And if we just skip ahead, just little bits at a time here. Ash and Mont at this point going in with Limit Burst. Melnia has died, but she's probably provided about enough support at this point. I do think that Ash and Mont's uh, a lot of people have them potentially fully reincarnated, and that would make up a lot of stat difference, earth espers, to push the amount of earth damage you can do. I also have a status effect there. Ashmont, not 
hurting too much, but obviously not super beneficial here. Now here is about when Thunder Veritas will start showing up. Now, Thunder Veritas against this Earth Comp, not super, super scary. Because she, she's just at an elemental disadvantage, which means that she is not going to do super well. And if you're cranking out enough DPS, she's far enough away that it's very unlikely she will be a major part. So at this point, I mean, short of the enemies that are right next to you, generally more advisable to just keep focusing always tom berries also show up a little bit scary very limited range movement though so you uh good movement spacing and everything you should be quite fine you're opting to go working also off of killing under veritas too Now down to two. And we just check in, just basically continually pummeling away at Earth Veritas. As you can see, I mean, it's not the most optimal thing. And you do end up against quite a bunch of enemies by the time this is getting close to being done. And that's it for that. All right, so let's take a peek at another one here. And I do believe we're just going to jump a little bit further into the video. And let's take a look at this setup that's being done. Basically, almost all gloves, except for one different in accessory, BCs to basically up damage limits as well as push as much damage as you possibly can. Bells across the entire board and also um, a, a reliquary weapon. Don't know why that was particularly so difficult to say. And then this one just focuses on four Ashen Mons. And the fight goes the exact same basically, but let's go a little bit further in. And yeah, it just basically works off the idea of just a bunch of these guys. We can see here that this comp has four characters still alive close to the end with all of the characters being dead or the important enemies being dead. And quite a bit of space in the mob, which means that the mob has not been able to close in as much on them. They've been a little bit better at mob management with four Ashen Mons, and particularly four well-built synergistic Ashen Mons. Should be the final one. Nope, not quite. He yeah, has guts. Gonna walk right up to him. Add him. There you go. So for people who are wondering about uh, possible alternatives for it, well, Ashenmont has been around a good long time at this point. So a lot of people will have him probably plenty better built, potentially even the Blood Sword fully built up to its better version as well. And the glove, maybe if you are, uh, you know, you've been keeping up on your reliquaries, but it's not just Yuna that is the clear. I think that Yuna is still the optimal clear. However, I haven't found a video of it quite yet. Not for lack of trying. And yeah, uh, just Ashamont seems to be a good, uh, trustworthy route forward. So it might be something to start getting ready and getting other people to get ready so you can clear this when it shows up on Global. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you later.